hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new guys welcome welcome my name is maria if you are one of my subscribers guys welcome welcome well guys as you can see of today's look i kind of did something um different um so i have been practicing um how to do a brazilian look guys i am amazed at this um tendency that's coming out so i kind of practicing guys kind of like getting the knowledge knowledge of it um so yeah so this is my second um look guys so this is basically a recreation of a look of basically from another person i really liked it a lot how it came out the only thing i did change a few um things so I kind of changed the colors on the lid, the eyeliner, and the eyeliner on that's cutting the crease. Um, due to I was uh, limited of the colors, so I kind of ended up adding colors. Um, yeah, I ended up adding my colors. If if you definitely want to see how I created this look, all you have to do is just continue watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Remember to hit that notification bell so like that you can be posted. So like that you can watch my videos. Well guys, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new guys welcome welcome my name is maria if you are one of my subscribers guys welcome welcome well guys here i already prepped my skin before camera um and i already have my eyebrows and my eyelids already prepped so for this look guys i'm going to be using two different palettes i'm going to be using the dose of color palette and also i'm going to be using um my a palette from my local beauty supply store so guys this is the look that i'm gonna recreate um i am very digging and liking um this new tendency that's coming out i don't know if it's new um but it's sort of like a brazilian it's called the brazilian um makeup so i am really enjoying these um type of looks so i'm trying to um learn the looks also so this is going to be my second one so um today i'm going to be using a tape so i'm just going to be putting it um right in my um, outer v yeah so i'm going to start with the dose of color palette and i'm going to be using the third shade on the palette that's going to be my transition color Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm still um, blending in the transition color, so I'm using a big fluffy brush for this. So for this guys, I'm going to really blow out that um, transition color all the way up to my brows. Okay guys, so I always like to go back in with a clean blending brush. So I'm just going to go back and blend out the crease just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines on the crease. So on this palette guys, I'm going to be using the same palette, the Dose of Color palette. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade on that palette. I'm going to go in with a very small pointed um, blending brush. 
um, yeah, you can see sort of um, like a pencil brush. Um, I'm going to do my crease a little bit higher than I normally do, guys. Um, because I have noticed that this um, Brazilian um, look, they do um, make your eyes a little bit bigger than what they normally are. So I'm just going to start bringing... What, what I'm bringing. So first, I'm just going to start... Um, doing sort of like a guide first just to mark that crease and then i'm gonna go back in with the same brush and then i'm gonna start blending that out um once i have that blended out i'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush um then i'm gonna start blending out that color also i'm gonna start sort of like winging it okay guys so here i just went in with a big uh, fluffy brush was a little bit smaller than the um, transition color so I just ended up blending in that so I'm going in again with a clean blending brush and just blending out the crease just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines so right here I just went back in with the transition um, and brush so basically I'm just gonna go back and forth um, with both brushes guys because I'm definitely gonna make this um, crease a little bit larger or higher than I normally have it as you can definitely see I do have very hooded eyes and my lid um, does sits so right on top of my eyelid so that's why I'm sort of like bringing those colors up or blowing up those colors up basically Okay guys, so right here I'm going to go in with my concealer. So this is the L'Oreal Conce Concealer. Um, it is in light ivory, I think it is, or ivory. So with this concealer, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm just going to start right at my inner um, portion. So basically what I kind of um, do is... I kind of start marking my um, crease first and then I'm going to go in and clean the entire lid. So right here I am just starting in with a little guide. Um, so right here I'm just going to keep it right on the crease and then right towards the end of the eye you could say or towards the end of the crease I'm going to start winging that out. And I'm gonna wing it all the way out, passing my um, the tail of my brow. Okay, guys. So right here, as you can see, I just went back in with a little bit more concealer. And I'm just cleaning out the lid and also I'm just making sure I don't overpass that um, cut that I just did on the on the crease um, as you can also see guys I do have a very um, fine lines on my um, lid so I don't leave the concealer like that because if I do um, the eyeshadow is not gonna look correct so I'm just gonna go back in with my finger and blend out that concealer or and anything that I have like right in my crease I'm gonna bring it down so I do have my brush cleaner guys I'm gonna be cleaning in my brush um, and I am gonna go in with my local beauty supplied um, palette and I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade so it is this like purpley pink color so i'm gonna start applying that right on my inner but not all the way in so i'm gonna leave sort of like a space because on that little space i'm going to be adding a highlight for it for 
Okay guys, so for the second shade that I'm going to be applying next to that um, purpley pink, I'm going to use sort of like a pink color. Um, they, after I kind of like applied it guys, in my hands they definitely looked at like two different colors, but when I started to apply it on the eye, they kind of look the same for whatever reason after i kind of blended so both colors kind of blended in sort of like into one color i don't know if you're able to see that but yeah um so i'm gonna be using this pink so for the third color that i'm going to be using um for that tailed on the wing i'm gonna be using that same palette i'm gonna go in with the most darkest color on the palette so it is this purple color so i'm going to be applying and that on the wing um yeah and the reason why that i'm gonna be applying that dark color there is because i'm gonna apply glitter to that wing um and the glitter that i'm going to be using it is a sort of like a pink um glitter so i definitely wanted that glitter to pop more so right here I'm using a gelled glue from Sally. It is a glitter glue. So I'm going to be applying that. Like I stated earlier, right into the wing. And the glitter that I am going to be using, it's a glitter that I bought. Um, I think it was last, sometime last year. And I think I bought it off eBay. So yeah, so that's where I'm going to be applying. So as you can see, it does have like very small glitter and it has some large ones mixed in together. So that's where I am applying the glitter, guys. Okay, so I was noticing that the look was sort of looking kind of dull. So I decided to use one of the new neon eyeliners that I got a few weeks ago. Um, at first, I started to be kind of mad, guys, because when I started to apply it, it it is a yellow color, so I definitely wanted the yellow to pop with the glitter. But for whatever reason, because the colors that I use underneath are sort of neon also, um, half of my yellow eyeliner started turning sort of like a orange color. Um, I don't know if you're able to see the other eye, guys, but yeah. So that kind of wasn't working for me, but after, at the end, I kind of liked it, the look. So I just applied here my favorite concealer, guys, the um, Ellie Pro Concealer in yellow. Out of camera, I did apply my foundation. Um, I did highlight it, and I used a translucent powder. So right here, I'm using the new bronzer that I got from my BoxyCharm for this month. Okay guys, so out of camera, I ended up putting on my eyelashes. So these are the ones that I currently use from Marshalls. So I'm using here my mascara just to um, put together my lashes with the falsies. I'm using a white eyeliner just to brighten up my eyes. I was, I was going to use a pink eyeliner, but I thought it was not a good idea. So I ended up using a white eyeliner. Um, so on my lower lashes, I ended up using the same colors um, from the lid, guys. Well, guys, this is the complete look. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you definitely want to be part of the family, please do. If you want to be part of the family, guys, please do subscribe, comment, and share my videos. That really means a lot to me. And yeah. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.